Cognitive cognitive dissonance is the mental discomfort that happens when new information that you're you're being given goes against your current beliefs. And this gives us this feeling of being uncomfortable because we believe what we believe because we think it's right. And so when this new information goes against those beliefs, challenges those beliefs, those beliefs, it gives us this feeling of being uncomfortable, like something's not right. And what we call that is cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance as a persuasive strategy is not really reliable or effective unless you provide lots of information to contradict those beliefs because we would rather believe what we've always believed. We want to believe we're right and so it's easier to not take in the new information and just hang on to your old beliefs in order to get rid of this feeling. So some ways that you deal with this cognitive dissonance so that you can hang on to your old beliefs, you might discredit the source. Well, they're just wrong. They're dumb. I don't have to believe what they have to say. You might reinterpret their message. You might decide uh, they weren't saying what I thought they were saying in order so that you can hang on to your old beliefs. You might seek new or contrary information. So, okay, they said this, but hey, here's a website that says what I want to believe. They may just stop listening. It may be that they are so uncomfortable with your information that disagrees with their beliefs that they don't want to listen. It's only some instances where you actually get a person to change their belief or behavior to match you and go against their old beliefs. That is a very difficult proposition to manage. Which is why when you use cognitive dissonance, you really have to have lots of information in order to disprove the belief they've held. So, for example, if you are somebody that really believes in peace, you believe in the sanctity of life, you don't want life to be thrown away, but you also believe that sometimes war is important. That is a cause of cognitive dissonance. These ideas may seem like they go totally against one another. You believe in peace but you think there are some battles worth fighting. And so you have to have, your brain has to have a way to rectify that. It's got to decide how do I hold these contrary beliefs at the same time. So it might be by saying, hey, sometimes it's through war that we ultimately bring about peace or sometimes we have to fight these fights in order to help the most lives possible. But there's got to be a way that your brain can deal with the fact of holding these contrary beliefs. So another example, and this is one that they kind of talked about in your examples from the EIU people, is people who do drugs and they say, hey, I've done drugs lots of times, I've never been hurt, I'm fine, versus this other part of you that knows uh, it's dangerous and it's not safe. And so you have this feeling of uncomfortableness by knowing, hey, I've done it and I've been okay. And also part of you knows, hey, this could be dangerous. Um, And that's why they talked about in our notes from the professor about how drug ads, usually you see them like done in pairs because they're really wanting to hit you with that information. Um, They often pay for several drug ads. It might be every commercial break so that you get hit with that information over and over again in order to help overcome that cognitive dissonance in a way where you accept the new belief instead of just pushing that information over away and saying they were wrong. So really what cognitive dissonance comes down to is it's going against someone's beliefs. It's making them uncomfortable enough that they sit choose not to believe what they used to believe and they come to accept your way of thinking instead.